My name's Chuck and I'm reporting here with Royal Bites. We're here to talk to people about issues of recession, how it affects them. I was brought up during the war when belts were tight. We were very poor. I had four children, my choice. Um, that was hard. I'm now finding it very difficult because I have a son with mental health issues. There just isn't the help available. He's 48, he's nearly 50 years old and he's not yet independent. And, and there just isn't the care. We've got people out in the community who should, should be getting more support and more help. And as for tightening belts, I thought that when, once your children are off your hands and you're um, retired, you should be a bit more free to do, do what you want to do, live your life. And, you know, my belt is as tight as it can go. People like me are rationing out of necessity. We're, we're buying essentials to live on. We're paying our gas, electric, you, you know, our rent, whatever, mortgage, if, it, if it's not paid. I can't go out now and I buy all my clothes in charity shops, have done for years and years and years. I can't afford to shop in the high street. I'm going to be made redundant in a couple of weeks and so are most of the people at the organisation where I work. Um, so it's affecting the whole organisation quite badly and um, some of the people have been there a long time and so now I'm looking for um, another job and um, it's not very easy. <laughs> you know, for 40 years they've been saying that the workers are being paid too much, they've got to take wage cuts, they can't have wage increases. You know, we, 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 can, only get the best, we can only get the best bankers if we pay them a £10 million signing on fee. But we, can't get a bus, we can only get a bus driver if, we, if, we, if he'll work for less than minimum wage. I mean, it's not, it's not real, it's not real. What can we do? We've got to cut the military. We, we, have, we have absolutely no need for Trident. We have absolutely no need... Uh, you know, these fighter jets cost, I don't know, £100 million each or something. Why, you know, they, these helicopters, they're saying, I can't remember the cost, it's, it's a phenomenal amount of money. If, if, if this country's in crisis, why are we, why, why are we, are we at war all the time? Why are we, why are we in Iraq? Why, why, were we, why were we in Iraq? Why were we in Afghanistan? Why are we at war all the time? Why, why, is the, why are local schools having jumble sales and doing car boots to raise money? Why, wouldn't it be nice if the army said, oh, we need... We need a new tank. <laughs> we're going we're to have a. We're going to have a bring them by. Come and let's help us help us raise some money to buy a tank. Like companies like BA are saying, look, to them BA employees, companies believe saying, look, work a month for free. We're suffering. You talking about you share pay of the burden, employees. Work a month for free for us. BA didn't say to their, their employees, oh, we've had a wonderful year. We've made we've made twice the profit this year. We're now going to double your salary for a month, did they? When they did well, they just said, fine, we've done well. They didn't say to them, OK, now, you know, <laughs> they didn't say, oh, you, we're going to give you an extra month's salary because we've had, we've had a good year. They say, no, no, no. It's politically incorrect. But what I've noticed in my lifetime is that when, when, the, when the Broadwater Farm riots happened, if you go to Broadwater Farm now, it's totally different. They've invested huge amounts of money. When the Sepals riots, when they had a, every time there's a riot, the government go in and they, they pump in huge resources to try and calm it down. If I was unemployed and I was poor, I would team up and I would protest. I think um, they're trying to make the normal public pay for mistakes they haven't done. I mean, I know the economics is really bad these days, but whose fault was it to begin with that it's this bad? It was the politicians' fault, the people on the top. And then instead of them paying the price for what their mistakes is, the normal public are paying for it. So this is wrong. Do you think having less would make you happier? Oh, yes. Less is more, isn't it? That's what the saying says. No, it's not. I already have less. I want more. I'm not allowed to have more. I already buy fewer things than an average person. No, I don't think so. What do you think about the recession? Is it affecting you? The recession? Well, I'll tell you what. The recession is affecting everybody. I'm a carer by, you know, by trade or whatever. Um, it's affecting me on an economic level. I mean, my, my, I, I'm on state, so the benefits are the same, yet everything is more expensive, and that's the same for everybody. I think it's affecting others more, because I'm a bit more, uh, what's the word, entrepreneurial with my actions. 
politicians are calling for a new age of austerity as an answer to the recession. Basically, they're saying cutbacks. Everybody has to suffer cutbacks in terms of spend less, fly less, drive less, save more. What do you think about that? Okay, there's a thing called the hypocrisy of democracy. Um, and if you look at what's going on, if you want to cut back, cut back where it's needed to be cut back, i.e. take some money out of the billions that are going into the, the, the weapons industry, yeah? um, the general public pay for all the services here in this country. So why should they have to suffer for what the government has done and the bankers who knew what they were doing in the bank system when they created those systems that took down the market? We've got a weak government, whether it was Tony Blair, whether it was Gordon Brown, whether it's Conservative, they're going to be a weak government because they're not prepared to take money from the corporations that are raiding everybody's, everybody's kitty. You're looking, at, you're looking at people who have been paying into pension schemes for the last 30, 40 years. They're not going to get their money. Yet some guy sitting in an office who worked for that same company is going to, you know, pull off maybe 200 million quid at the end of the at the end of his little season of raiding the kitty. I don't think any politician should tell anybody how to live their lives. Their job is to manage the country for the people that put them into those positions to do that. They're not here to di be dictators, yeah. And that's the problem with this society at the moment. We've got uh, an elitist bunch of people, they might not seem elitist, sitting in Parliament. However, the people that they, they are working for, not the public, who they're supposed to be working for, their, their, their actions are putting us in jeopardy. Um, I don't spend as much money as I used to do, which I don't have that much money, but I've cut back on a lot of things, such as um, I don't use as much electricity or gas because that prices have gone up. Um, I'm finding it hard at times, and I find that my daughter with her children finds that hard. Um, I think they should do more to help old people, young people, you know, most of the people what's trying to live from hand to mouth. I think the government should go back on their things, not asking the ordinary people, which are on wages, to cut back. When they work for, say, six months, they want a holiday. They can't afford it. You know, and there's all these cutbacks, to me, um, it's not right. I think they should look at the top, you know, the, the politicians and them that get all them uh, bonuses. We don't get anything like that, love, you know. We don't qualify for bonuses where they can go away when they want to do, but we've got to cut back. I mean, I'm retired now, but I haven't alive because I've cut back on a lot of things. You know, I went to my sister's in America last year. She paid for the flight. You know, I can't afford to do things what they're asking us to do. I've cut back on my electricity, my gas, my water, you know, and I'm paying each week for that, and I'm finding that I'm still no better off. One sentence, if you could talk to a politician about the age of austerity, what would you tell them? Cut his own wage. Well, um, it affects me in a way that my pocket money is limited now. Like, it's their fault that the recession is in place anyway, so, like, they should be doing the most that they can to help reduce it. So, not the public themselves, but them, the government, should be doing this. So, uh, what would you like to say to a politician telling you about the age of austerity? I think they should think of better ideas to cut down recession and... That's what I, I would tell them. It's not a good idea. One of the ideas they're saying in the age of austerity is to not go on vacation, but to have a staycation where you stay at home instead of fly abroad. Do you agree with that? Is that something you could do? No, because like, mo most of my family is abroad, so I can't just stay here for the rest of my life. That's why, like, I don't, that's why I think it's a bad idea, because not everyone is in, in England right now, most people's families. That's why I think it's a really bad idea.